keep looking through doors here before I get my brain. A toaster. Absinthe and Mormon tats. There's a gun sitting in there. It's a throwing axe. I thought it was a gun. It was not. He's freaking talking to himself. I don't know what the hell he's saying. The brain tank. No, oh, I want the, the cell. There's a gun. Nice. Okay, let me repair my gun real quick. Good stuff. Bunch of crap. Loot all of the file cabinets. All of them. Everyone. Okay. Well, looks like we're done here. I guess I'm gonna go uh, get my brain now. Let's see what happens. Here it is. Talk to the brain tank. Look, it's my brain! Drag themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radio. My brain talks to me. Again? That's great. Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? <laughs> Would you like a cookie? Reminds me of freaking Stewie from Family Guy. Why are you such a dick? Is any of you sarcastic? Meaning your own brain is a slightly odd event. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all <laughs> since they pulled me out of you? Yes, because running around a crater pool of bizarre scientific experience hygiene is a top priority. Well, I see sarcasm hasn't eluded you. Fine, <laughs> perhaps now isn't the best time, but it's the principle of the thing. Why are you such a dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a, quote, dick. Unquote. <laughs> because if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes, I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults <laughs> or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill conceived revenge. <laughs> but have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Mm? Do you think I enjoyed <laughs> that little moment? Of course you're responsible, you're my brain. Oh, come on, that's fun. I didn't realize it caused you so much distress. Well, maybe next time you hear me telling you that charging a nightkin with a pen knife <laughs> is a bad idea, you will listen. Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back into my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Hmm. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, Barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and <laughs> biological functions. Do 
you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. <laughs> what about the good things? What about a cool breeze on your cheek, the smell of food, love? Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. <laughs> Isn't, isn't it just as true that you only feel this way because you're lacking those hormones? Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? So we're at an impasse. You can't feel what I feel and I can't think the way you think. Indeed, quite the conundrum. <laughs> How do you suppose we resolve it? I think we have to trust each other and acknowledge that we aren't complete if we're separated. I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. So, what do you say, Brain? Join me for some more wild adventures? Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. Sweet. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Why? They promised they put it back together once I did what they wanted. And you believe them? Really? <laughs> I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... <laughs> really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. You're part of me. I know you don't want to let that happen any more than I do. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. <laughs> All right. What's the plan? The think tank will hold their bargain. We'll make them. Let's go. I'll handle the brains you say here. You'll be more useful outside of my head. We'll make them. Right. Look out, Think Tank! This brain is coming out of its jar! I suppose now that Make up your mind you want to about your, your brain. So up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks Auto Dock can plug them back in no problem. Okay. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification uh -huh. tool won't work on a mind and body reunited. Your brain added. <laughs> retrieve your brain from the forbidden zone. Confront Dr. Klein at the think tank. Option, use the sync auto doctor re to retrieve your original heart. Use the sync auto doctor to retrieve your original spine. Well, I might as well get, uh... Might as well get my stuff back. I hypothesize after the indignant frequencies my receptors had uh, recepted, such a partnership-based conclusion would be low on huh. the likely scale. My brain told me to think that needs to be stopped. Can you help? If I recall, I had a plan that was working, uh, whatever it was. Huh. I don't think it reached fruition. I would recall fruit if it had happened. Hmm. I wasn't trying to kill them, just keep them out of trouble. What was that plan? Blast. I probably uh, wrote it down. Well, I'm not going to search through all that to find it. Somewhere. Any tactics I could use against the think tank? That will be difficult. It would be like fighting five scaled down versions of me that have better depth perception. I don't care, I'll screw over. They have an arsenal of vivisectors, brainial beams, and a rather nasty way <laughs> that can make your atoms do a happy dance. If you can survive those highly improbable odds and ends, then deceasing them is definitely an option. Although, I doubt killing them would do anything except make you feel better. Mm -hmm. Or let you brag to other humans about your primal violentness. What was the plan you had? Anything I can do to stop them doesn't require violence. Well, you could try and appeal to their humanity. <laughs> That's a tired cliché. And really, when they were humans, they weren't very good <laughs> humans. I'd like to make the effort. 
Or how about any suggestions for how to make them change their mind? Well, there's many things they have forgotten sitting in their bowls. Friendship. The thrill of discovery. <laughs> Love. Masturbation. <laughs> the usual. Much like okay. your brain, I am certain there is something you can spark within each of them. Memories. Hormones. You know, I did with, uh, what's his name? man once said, the eyes do more than see. I did that already. I did all their quests. If you can. Or if not, you can always make them succumb to fear. Hmm. <laughs> I did all their quests, so I'm wondering if I can time. if I can just talk them to them now. Then you came along, and bravery and or desperation trumped that little idea. Back to the drawing. Alright. Scare them how? Oh, tell them I'm still alive. alive. Had a nice chat. Had a nice chat. Oh, you could kill me and lie about it. And if you are partial to lying and deception, well, you could tell them a ludicrous. Okay. They're more than a little gullible. I better make it convincing, though, or it'll be the dissec. And if you speak of me, please. Blah blah blah. All right, I'm done. Time for me to go. Alright. I'm ready. I'm ready to end this. Finish it.